I think this is the kind of question where visualizing can really be useful. So we know that uh, we've got Adam and Beth somewhere in the line. Adam is ahead of Beth. There is an unknown number of people in between them. But we do know that in total, the people ahead of Adam plus the people behind Beth, that's 18. We want to know of those 18, how many are behind Beth? Well, if I knew how many are in front of Adam, I could infer how many are behind Beth because together that's 18. Statement one tells us that there's a total of 32 people in the line, including Adam and Beth. And we know that the people ahead of Adam plus the people behind Beth makes 18. So that means that there are 14 people remaining, including Adam and Beth, which means that there are 12 people in between Adam and Beth. Okay, but how many people are behind Beth? We still don't know. And you can visualize moving the 14 people, including Adam and Beth, forward and backwards in the line, and that's going to change the answer. That Those would change the number of people behind Beth. So statement one is not sufficient on its own, and we can go ahead and eliminate the answer choices that claim that it is. So A and B are gone, and we're down to B, C, E. Now statement two on its own tells us how many people are behind Adam, but we wanted to know how many people are behind Beth. Now, if we knew how many people are between Adam and Beth, then we could figure it out. But all we know is that there's a total of 23 are behind Adam, but I don't know where Beth is standing within those 23 that are behind Adam, and therefore I don't know how many people are behind Beth. So statement two is not sufficient on its own either, and we can eliminate B. Now, if we combine these statements, we know that the total number of people is 32, we know that there are 23 behind Adam, which means we can pinpoint exactly where Adam is in the line. And we can infer how many people are ahead of Adam. And we know that the total number of people ahead of Adam plus behind Beth is 18. So if we know how many people are ahead of Adam, and we know that the total is 18, we can infer how many are behind Beth. Now, we shouldn't actually take the time to do that on a test because this is data sufficiency and the actual number doesn't matter. As long as we're confident that together these statements are sufficient, we can go ahead and pick answer choice C. Now, just for our purposes, using our visualization, if there are 32 people in line and Adam can see 23 behind him, that would mean that he is ninth in line, because 9 plus 23 is 32. And if Adam is ninth in line, that means there are 8 people ahead of him. Now, we know that there are a total of 18 people ahead of Adam and behind Beth, so if 8 of those 18 are ahead of Adam, that means the 10 are behind Beth. So the answer to the question is there are 10 people behind Beth, but more importantly, the answer is C. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.